Evening folks, this is Vagrant. We are back playing The Sinking City. We are gonna go change our costume, first of all, because uh, I wanna mix things up and try a couple of other ones. We got the doo -doo -doo -doo, we got the Plague Doctor outfit relatively recently, so I think we're gonna go try that out. And then we're gonna move on with the <laughs> we're gonna move on. Is that the only yellow left? Yes. Then we're gonna move on with the main quest. What the hell's the that's over here? Um so we went to go meet Blackwood. And all his fishy friends have been killed by the KKK. So we went to the KKK place because they'd captured Blackwood. Blackwood summoned, according to them, a few wild beasts and managed to break out and has gone to his hidey hole. So that's where we're going to go once we look a little bit more appropriate because I look like a, well, <laughs> I look like an octopus, basically. So let's nip into our room. Any new notes? Nope. They seem to update every time you complete a major mission. And I think we're gonna go for, let's try the Plague Doctor, why not? Lovely stuff. <laughs> not at all terrifying, not in the slightest, all right. Let's go meet Blackwood for the first time. <laughs> I don't know, I think if I think if I came through the door like this, I don't know, I'd be a little bit spooked, personally. I'm not sure I'd really want a meeting with myself anyway. Right, where are we going? Western Grimhaven Bay, it's over here. Deep Shore Road, which is here, between Skipper and Marsh. There's Marsh. Let's skip, let's skip, so it's around. Beautiful, right next to the fast travel as well. Good stuff. And then, uh, so why are we doing this again? Do I actually remember why we're doing this? <laughs> like, this is all so we can uh, work for Throgmorton to find dough. I, we've been doing it for such a long time now. There's this, uh... Nice! Big old spider crab. Stop it. Stop it! Oh, there we go. I mean, that looks like a hideout, doesn't it? The light is literally in the mouth of some terrifying sea creature. Hello? Where did my Plague Doctor costume go? What to do with that. Old, but clean. Someone's been here recently. <laughs> that was just very strange. <laughs> I don't really have anything to add. That was very peculiar. And, um. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. I, I don't know. Is that just me going crazy? And this, the game saw this as the opportunity to introduce the craziness, or is there something particularly haunting around this particular building? Uh, smells a few days old. There's a. Huh. Smells like fish soup. There we go. This is next move is one of these. Huh. Smells like fish soup. Everything smells like fish soup. So this is the soup kitchen. What is it? What's what's triggering me over here? Oh, oh, okay. <clears throat> And spooky handy ghost people. Hmm. So have a little poke around first. Tons of dead pigs, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, I, look, not that I don't love pigs, I just also enjoy eating pigs. Why are they golden? Oh, whatever. Oh, look, dead people. Oh, it's the KKK, though. That's okay. Throat slit. Clean. Throat slit. Clean. Get it? That's okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let me try that again. Oh, look. Lots of dead people, but it's the KKK. 
That's okay, KK. Eh? 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 <laughs> right. Uh, is there any particular point in this room, or...? If there is, I ain't seeing it, son. Hmm. Am I literally in here just to look at the dead bodies? I think I am. Okay. <clears> hmm, <throat> hmm, hmm. Well, we'll head upstairs. I'll see if we can spot anything else. Wait, is there even an upstairs? Yes, there is. Right. Okay. Everything is fine so far. Somebody likes to lecture. Join us. Who would that be for, though? For the EOD? For the church? I actually don't know. What would Black Blackwood's in charge of the EOD, right? Oh, he's not necessarily in charge of the EOD, but he's definitely got something to do with it because he's all in's mouth fish friend lover, and the EOD is, of course, very fish friendly. Here, into the sea. I'd be able to take this journey. Go on ahead while I speak with the others. Okay, Blackwood tells his people to go ahead towards the sea. Is there one upstairs? Yes. It is time. Time to strike down the false prophets of the Order and to take back Professor Doe. Professor Doe. So he knows that Professor Doe has been taken by the cult that we saw when we went into the ocean. Hello, get downstairs. <clears throat> and he sent out an expedition to retrieve her. Finish off the interlopers. They no longer matter. I'll see you all upstairs. Time to figure this out. I'm gonna go one. Finish off the interlopers. They no longer matter. I'll see you all upstairs. Two. It is time. Time to strike Three. down the false prophets of the order. And Feeling confident. Feeling good. Into the Do not have an alternate idea of this wrong. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to take this journey. Go on ahead, while I speak with the others. Okay. What? <laughs> right, so, some of the... Maybe it's just one, two. It was either one, two, three like that, or it's one, and this is two, and that one's three. I, I think this one has to be first, right? He's saying he'll see them all upstairs. That would logically make the downstairs one. Dude, don't do that. That was too, what's he doing? That was too frank. Right, I'm gonna say one, two, three. One. Finish off the interlopers. They two. no longer matter. I'll see hey, here. It off. Into the sea. Goes, Get out of the way then. I never thought I'd be able to take this journey. Go on ahead while I speak with the And others. these are the others, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. God, I hope it makes sense. It is time. Time to strike down the false prophets of the order and to take back Not Professor, Professor Doe. Doe. Huh? Blackwood's going after Harriet Doe. He took a small army with him. Just need to figure out where he went. Hi, I am Vagrant. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Key evidence, but not all. Oh, there we go, you cheeky little blighter. Right, let's have a little look at our thingy. EOD is dangerous. Uh, uh. Okay, the EOD is planning something dangerous and Harriet is instrumental to the things. Okay, so yeah, Blackwood has nothing to do with the EOD. Oh, there's so many factions. Okay. Ebonut took his men into the sea. Only one spot on the map is on the coast. The one in Western Salvation Harbour at the end of Pembroke Lane. Okay. Okay. So, I guess we're going into the sea. I'm gonna go follow Blackwood and his guys, and hopefully they're gonna lead me over to Professor Doe. Who is the entire reason we've been doing all these quests for like the last 10 episodes, basically. So. 
Western Salvation Harbour. At the end of Pembroke Lane. Pembroke, Pembroke. Uh, ah. The end? Okay, right, I guess we are going uh, over there. Time for a dive, right? So we're going to go underwater. We're going to find Blackwood, and he's going to be fighting with the cult. But the cult is the cult the EOD then? I think the cult's the EOD, right? The people who came and took dough in the first place. They're the EOD. They're led by Anna, who is bad. Tried to get me killed, despite the fact that I saved her stupid company by killing her ex-husband. And then, what's going on here with my? What's what's going on with me? Why, why do I look like I'm wearing like a dress? What's going on? Why do I have like weird little tentacles poking out the side of me? That's very strange. It looks like I've got four legs. It wasn't like that before, right? I'm not going utterly crazy. I don't think I'm going crazy. I think that's new. I think it's bugged. Anyways, um, it was meant to be like a cloak. It's just kind of looking a bit weird. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna go inside you. Wait, <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm just. I'm gonna be inside you, but only for a second. Okay, there's no reason to be a big nerd about this. What did I just say? So, <laughs> my point is, okay, let, I'm just, whilst we're driving on, I'm going to try to piece together what exactly has happened. We arrived because we got spooky visions. We got told to talk to Throgmorton. We talked to Throgmorton. Throgmorton commissioned an expedition with his son to go down into the depths and look at stuff. And his son went crazy. Okay, that's what we did at the start of the game. We, upon going down there, we also saw them get attacked by some Innsmouth occultists. And the seal was taken, and Professor Harry Doe was taken as well, and she was part of the expedition. So for Throgmorton, we're now trying to retrieve and find Professor Harry Doe. Uh, so to find Doe, why did we talk to the EOD? I'm trying to remember what the EOD has got to do with anything. Do we think EOD took Doe? <laughs> Oh, sleepy. <laughs> right, um, I don't know, it's been... Uh, oh god, hello. No idea. Oh, right, okay, I was wondering, can I walk on these, or...? Go now, go now. Quickly, quickly, yes, slow son of a gun. I actually think it's quicker to just take the damage and heal as you walk around, but... No! No! Ow! There you go. Um... <clears throat> yeah. Well, we wanted information on Doe. And the EOD ha- oh god. Run away, run away, run away. Run away, run away, run away. I'm trying to think and play the same. Oh my god, oh, hello. I don't think I've ever been close to that before. That's very cool. Big old wibbly wobbly tentacle boy. Oh, hello. Another shark thing. It's honestly better to just run. I mean, it's a shark thing, right? It can't go. We can't go upstairs, obviously. That'd be crazy. Go, 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 go. What are you doing? I'm being chased by a spooky bone shark thing from Subnautica. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. Come on, pal. Yeah, I've just climbed the massive one, but not the small one. That makes sense. Okay, whatever works for you. What is that? Is that just a dead dude? I think it's just a dead dude. I'll go with that. Something's gone on down here. Nothing good. There's a lot going on. 
I am tired. <laughs> There's like 20 different factions in the game, it's crazy. And they're all battling for... Right, there's Thogmortons in the Blackwoods. Oh, and the others, who was Graham? Carpenter. Was yeah. it the Carpenter? So that's like the three major families. Uh, I've seen Swiss cheese with fewer holes. Seen... No, 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 I'm not making that joke. Onwards! Are these goodies or baddies? I suspect goodie. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, interesting. This is pretty awesome. Good shooting there. <laughs> Yikes. Hello. Are you dough by any chance? No, oh, you're a man. Are you a man? I... It's actually quite hard to tell. Doe. Oh, that could be dough. That could be dough. Yeah. Ah, Jesus, let me Christy. Chipper, chipper, chipper. Is your bloody well mind? No need for that, is there? It looks like Blackwood's Expedition. Ah. It came down here. And kind of got their ass spooked, to be honest. Doesn't look like it went well for them. Ugh, these look like they'll hatch soon. Oh god, <laughs> I didn't even see that for some reason. Hello, oh yeah, okay. Da -da, da -da, da -da -da. Ooh, let's go over here. I'm getting massive alien vibes here. I wish I was James Bond. Just for the day. Kissing all the girls. Drive the bad guys away. And I wish I was James Bond. Do, 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 do. Anything else down here? Or do I have to go up the spooky altar bit? I get shot at by a man in a dressing gown. <laughs> Not for the first time in my life as it happens. True story. Oh, hello. Goodbye. <laughs> Great band, by the way. Classic. Hello, goodbye. Anyone remember those? Me. Me, me, me. I have a terrible feeling about walking up here. <laughs> oh, hello. Blackwood. I know you, don't I? Mr. Reed from the fish market had business with that harlot Anna. Why on earth are you here? Happy to see you too, buddy. Mr. Blackwood. <laughs> Guess I finally caught up to you. Terrifying. You are a follower of my work? Oh, sorry, Evernote. My heart belongs to another. Fred from the fish market said you could tell me where the professor is. I see. <laughs> he didn't mention that I was about to wage war on the EOD then. Harriet Doe. I know you were looking for her. Where is she? Why do you need to find her? She has a purpose. A purpose that must be fulfilled. A purpose that you have no part in. I have questions that I need her to answer. Questions? You're like a dog digging for a bone. Concept of the greater picture. The professor is the one. She is too important to be bothered by your questions. She is all that remains of the few. Listen to me. Harriet must live. We are on the cusp of a great tragedy, and only she can avert it. She is one of the chosen gifted with visions by divine providence. It is her fate to either save us or doom us all. I, I don't follow. You talk about tragedy and doom. What tragedy? What doom? From beneath the city. Oh, but I forget. You would know. The frescoes here show the truth. <sighs> 
I lost days studying them long ago. I once served the sea myself, Mr. Reed, but I cannot do so any longer. They have to be stopped. Harriet is the key. <laughs> I have no time for frescoes. Okay. Why don't you save us both a lot of time and trouble and give me the short, snappy version? There is a cosmic cycle. At the end of each turn... I'm sorry. My time is too short. Please Aww. find Harriet. You must make sure she lives. Black one's gonna die? In that case, I suppose I better get a move on. Good luck, Mr. Reed. You must not fail. He's got, like, scars on his neck that look like gills. It's very peculiar. I feel boss fight coming on. Skills! What do we want? What's this one? Eh, whatever. Um. So. EOD, right? They were all the Innsmouthers. And they were also making fish babies. Anna actually went and had sex and mated with some sea monster thing. And that's why. I can't remember his name. Car something C word I can't remember. He uh, he was annoyed because his wife left him and had sex with a fish, <laughs> which I think would be moderately annoying to say the least. Uh, Blackwood obviously doesn't approve of this, although he used to seemingly. He I mean he's definitely got some gills and fish features going on there, as you can see. He definitely was part of this worshiping the sea cult at some point. Has decided against it since and decided to shut them down. Am I missing anything? And I wish I was James Bond. Why is it in my head? Okay. I'm sure the wall's gonna try to kill me. It's a prison. I've seen these symbols before, but but where? First fresco since dark aeons before the age of man, Sith Gonarch lies beneath the ground. In that eldritch prison prison rests the dreamer's hidden daughter, bound to never leave. You let me inside you? Yeah you are. Who's a good fresco? Who is this Doctor Man? Okay. Many people. Another piece of the puzzle. Looks like a wheel, something, something repeating, maybe, like the seasons, some kind of cycle. But there are those who would free the daughter if the dreamer's seed would only pass to her. Each turn of the cycle, those carrying the seed are drawn to Sithganar, driven by hideous visions. Well, maybe that's why I'm here. My visions have led me to the city. Maybe I have the seed. <laughs> What's going on here? something in the way. I think there is. Okay. Mm a seal. I'm sure I've seen these symbols before. Where? The seal of Sith Ganach. Gonar will open the way. Many will try and perish. When the stars are right and the dreamer stirs in his house, one will succeed. The daughter will be freed, and from her swollen womb, the dreamer shall spawn once more. Professor Doe, are you all right? All right? Uh, I, I am. Why not? Sorry, who are you? I'm here to rescue you. Robert Throg Morton wants to. Rescue me? But I, I, I... Don't you understand? Everything is in my hands now. There is a cycle. This has all happened before. She wants to be free, but she must not be, or else it all ends. What is this about a cycle? It always begins with a great 
flood. Then the threat rises with the sea. The sea is all that divides our world from the one below. But when the sea rises, the gates, the gates neither open nor closed, only waiting. Ah, oh, Doe, I've been looking forward to meeting you. A woman of science. No, she's bloody mental. What? Gates? Katiganar! Oh. <laughs> the gates are not closed, the gates are not open. But they shall be one or the other by the cycle's end. What are you talking about? Gates? But the seal, they close the gates. And close them forevermore. And that's why she stole the... Well, they were trying to take the seal, the cultists took the seal. Professor Doe, you're not making sense. <clears throat> we need to get out of here. Now. I can't leave with you. I need to be alone. Alone. You, you don't understand. I play a part in it all. Knock but only the chosen few may do that. Those led by the visions. I have had them for so long. I... I have visions too. That's what brought me to Oakmont. And I guess what brings me to you now. Oh, but that has... that has to be... That has to be different. It, it has to be. I've been through so much. It has to be different. Uh, I don't understand. Th there can only be one of us. Think she's a bloody special, special little uh, snowflake, don't she? You ain't no snowflake, love. I need a moment to think it over. Okay. I will stay here with my seal. Uh, she's gone mental. Right, let's have a look. What's going on? Prophy says there will be many chosen, but only one savior. Those that fail will die. Prophy says there will be many chosen, but only one savior. The others will try and fail. Okay, so that's more positive, I guess. Recently, Harry Doe has experienced horrifying visions. Could she be one of the Chosen? Yeah, that's kind of the idea, right? The visions led the Chosen to the city, to their destiny. They led me here too. Am I part of the prophecy? I must save Harriet. Harriet Doe and I are both Chosen, and if the prophecy is true, only one of us can succeed. But damn the risks. She has suffered enough already. I must save her. Is this... Are you suggesting that I should kill her? Is that the other one? I'm not gonna kill Harriet Doe. <laughs> Doing that because of some stupid bloody thing, some stupid vision. What kind of man do you think I am? Let's have a little poke around first. I'm not finished here yet. What a ridiculous thing that would be to do. I'm just gonna shoot her in the face. Hi, did Harriet. I will be the one who remains. We need to. We need to get out of here. Uh, but my work isn't finished. My mission. Good luck finishing it if you're dead. We need to get out of here, Harriet. We just need to get to the surface. Fine. Fine. We go above ground, but we need to take the seal with us. The seal is the key to everything. Okay, let's go. Let's just see him reading a bloody book. Do I want to move this? I feel like something bad's about to happen. Oh. Game is so wait, am I in prison? So weird. I feel like I collapse a lot and <laughs> just end up waking up in hospital with a mustard man at my bed. 
I mean, that's the dream, don't get me wrong, but... I woke up at the hospital to discover my old acquaintance, Johan van der Berg, staring me down. The seal of Katiganar is missing, and after what I learned in the Temple of Dagon, I cannot proceed without it. I need to find it. Okay, oh my god, look at the XP. The seal is missing. Deal with the devil. More like, deal with the bakery. Good stuff. Oh, I've got a new mission. Some jo oh no, Joy! Something horrible has happened, I must speak with you. Meet me at the Oakmont Library, please hurry, I need your help desperately. Oh, I've got to go look after Joy, I like Joy. Okay. What are you doing here, Johannes? You have quite a knack for asking the wrong questions, Mr. Reed. I'm here because I heard you were admitted. You don't seem the frail sort, so my interest was piqued. Last I remember, I was underwater. Consider yourself lucky. That's not the best place to be unconscious. I'd wager you'd had a drink too many were it not for the scratches. What exactly were you doing underwater? Swimming. There was this ancient temple down there. It was... it was wrong, Johannes. A horror show. It's all right, I believe you. I won't ask you to relive it just yet. Please. What happened to Harriet Doe? Where is she? Ah, she's right here at the hospital. In the morgue. They fished her out of the calm shore marina earlier today. A pity. I always thought she was a strong swimmer. But how? I... I made sure she... Made sure? Mr. Reed, when confronted by the true horrors of this city, you couldn't even stay conscious. And now we are here. He's a sassy son of a bitch, isn't he? <laughs> what happened to my things? I need to find them. Mr. Reed, do you take me for a hospital employee? I... Uh, I guess not. Apologies. Although, this wouldn't happen to be about a certain seal, would it? Uh, in fact, it is. Splendid. Well, fear not, Mr. Reed. I'm very much invested in your success. Perhaps it has been misplaced. You may wish to return to where you were found. If I were you, I'd inquire with the staff as to where that was. Johannes, be straight with me. How do you know about the seal? What can I say? Acquiring information is something of a hobby of mine. Wasn't that how you and I first met? In any event, when you've recovered the seal, Come find me at my theater. I will have a plan of action ready. Here's the address. Farewell. Okay. So. 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 Right, next episode we're going to go talk to Joy, because I, I love Joy, and we want to go protect her. Um, but let's try to piece together what's happened in the game so far. Actually, I'll tell you what, the best way to do this <clears throat> is go to start the casebook. So, uh, first quest we did, Frosty Welcome. We arrived in the city, and everyone went mental, we found about, you know, Robert... No, wait, uh, not Robert, Albert. Albert had gone crazy, and killed people. And all that kind of jazz. Okay. Um, then we I went and searched for the pe other people who were in the expedition. That was when we went down into the water. And we saw the Innsmouthers attack the expedition, as we can see. And Professor Doe picked up the seal. And they attacked and they took her. It was literally the second case we ever did. <laughs> and that's all we've done so far since then. And that's what we've just kind of concluded, basically. Um... And these mouthers, yeah, they have those strange pendants. I don't think it's an EOD thing, but I don't know. Um, so, yeah, remember, we tracked down the ship and stuff, like checking the advertisements. So, Robert funded an expedition. They went down. Harriet was still there. They took the seal. Harriet got taken by the fish people. And we just tracked her now. And then, those were all blah, blah, blah. And the quid pro quo. Robert wanted us to find out who took Harriet. So we investigated and discovered who attacked his expedition and kidnapped her. And it was the... who was EOD? Uh... 
Okay, now I think it was the OD, right? Yeah, because the guy. Remember, we went and tracked down the guy with the amulet, and he he, he did. He, he he was a guy who yelled for his EOD members. That's when we met Anna for the first time. So the EOD attacked Harriet Doe and the rest of the expedition and took her and took the seal. Now they got killed seemingly by Blackwood, and that's how blah blah blah. We we just had that little bit there, and then fred told me he knows where the eod is keeping carrier doe so we wanted to go track down doe because we knew the eod had taken her we went to talk to fred fred wanted a favor he wanted to get smuggled out of the city we went to talk to the bartender we did a favor for the bartender he led us over to brutus we did all the brutus stuff and then brutus's son i can't remember his name he promised to get fred out of the city and therefore fred gave us the information about the eod via Black, he set up a meeting with Blackwood because Blackwood knew where the EOD had taken Harriet Doe. Clearly he did because his attack expedition was in the water and was where we just went just then. That's about it really. So there's... Yeah, okay. So EOD bad. Blackwood seemingly good. Frogmorton doesn't really care. Okay, cool. <laughs> right, uh, yeah. We'll end it there then. Now that I'm caught up in my head, at least moderately. Next episode we will go find out where we were dug up from, because that's a bit, we were knocked unconscious, uh, but Harry's dead, but where's Blackwood? So if we got out, it was probably thanks to Blackwood, or some other force, I guess, but I'm very curious as to where it was we woke up, because Harriet died, so how did we make it out and she didn't, basically? We'll find that out, then we're going to go do Science's Golden, Hill Park Joy, whatever the hell's going on with her, and then we shall push on, and hopefully go track down the seal. Now, just to further compound things, there's a cycle that goes on in this area wherein the tides rise and then like a deep monster brrr, terror terror rises from the ocean claims everything and then sinks back down right it's a cycle that goes over and over and over again and it comes through some gate that's always open but always sure it's just a Schrodinger's gate right and Harrier believes that by using the seal one of the chosen could shut the gate forever the chosen being the people who were drawn to the city via these visions Harriet had the visions and I've got the visions Blackwood believes Harriet is super important because she's the only one left of the few, the chosen. He doesn't know that I am similarly in the same situation, basically. Now, the prophecy says that there can only be one who does it. All the others with the visions will have to die. So if we ever meet anyone with visions, they're probably going to die because it can only be one of us who shuts the gate, basically. I suspect that's where the game's going. It feels very Dark Souls in a way, that kind of finale. Anyways, right. Yeah, so I think we're pretty caught up. There's obviously some nuances in there, here and there, but I think that's the general gist of what's going on. Thank you for joining me. Cheers, much love as always. Bye-bye.